social networking, and ever-expanding use of technology in modern society. Students all across the United States can unite with each other using social networking websites. With their user-friendly format and ease of access, all one needs is a computer or a cell phone and they can interact with their friends or groups of interest. Professors such as Dr. Ray Hunko at Lock Haven University hypothesize that using social networking websites such as Twitter can enhance a student's activity, participation, and interaction with other students in class. The findings from his study could be groundbreaking in education across the world. Research shows that college students are very interested in using social networking websites like Facebook. More recently, college faculty members have been interested in integrating social media into the learning process, more specifically Twitter. Some of the research that's out there on this is looking at the relationships between social media use and impacts on learning. Unfortunately, that doesn't let us make any inferences about causality. So what we did was we designed a controlled experiment where we were able to look at the impact of Twitter on student engagement and grades in their classes. We had 125 first-year students who were taking first-year seminars for pre-health professionals. We randomly assigned 70 of them to an experimental group, 55 of them to a control group. And with the experimental group, we used Twitter in educationally relevant ways. So we had them continue class discussions, do class assignments on Twitter, and interact with each other and do campus activities uh, on Twitter. I'm a really shy person, so I don't like to get up and talk in front of people. Uh, I sit in the back of the class, keep to myself. I don't talk a lot. And I wasn't really excited about the whole Twitter thing, um, but it turned out to be pretty beneficial to me because you get to know your classmates on a better level through class discussions and assignments instead of just random comments in class. And people can express themselves to the best of their ability without getting judged. We kept students engaged by having them continue class discussions, such as a discussion of a common reading. We had them interact with us and with, with each other. We also sent them reminders about study groups, exams that were coming up, and also campus activities like speakers. Being part of the Twitter experiment was beneficial to me because it sent me reminders and using my Blackberry, I got reminders all the time so I was on top of the game. Through the feed, we were able to provide students academic and personal support. So for instance, we could tell them the location of the tutoring center and the hours if they had a specific need for help in that way. Twitter? I've never even heard of Twitter till this experiment. I mean, I'm all about Facebook, always. Uh, the only thing is, Facebook, in my studying, I can't do the two together. It's, it's a no-go, but uh, <laughs> I mean, with this experiment though, with Twitter, the professors, they really pushed me to do harder, like to succeed in my classes. They're always uh, updating me on assignments and things like tutoring hours and stuff that I can go to, which I have, because I need it. But I mean, it's just, it really helped my grade. One of the unexpected findings of the study was that it democratized roles and relationships so that students from all different backgrounds form strong bonds both inside and outside of the classroom. Um, I don't know, I think I'm an outgoing person, like from doing the study and participating in it. I guess it kind of like, it's, it's really different, like it's not like any other classes or like anything I've ever done before, it was really different. I think that's the part that really got me interested in it. Like, we would hang out outside and talk. And, like we'd form like little groups in the 24 hour lounge here in the library and I don't know, it was a lot of fun. We found that students in the Twitter group had significant increases in engagement as measured by a scale based on the National Survey of Student Engagement. They also had significantly higher grades by half a point. That's the difference between a 2.3 and a 2.8 GPA. From this, we can see that social media can be used in educationally relevant ways. With further research and social networking, we could change the way that we engage students in higher education.